false teachers continue to spread as much heresies and damnable doctrine as they can to take as many souls down to hell with them as they possibly can because they're ministers of Satan. And one of the false prophets out there is a guy by the, by the name of Chris LaSala, or I call him Chris La Satan. Basically, he teaches that salvation is not easy and that, you know, it's a hard salvation. You know, it's crazy. It's a workspace salvation. I mean, forget, I mean, never, never mind the scores of scripture that just debunk his false gospel. Think of all the hymns we would have to trash. You know, Blessed Assurance, you know, to God be the glory, great things he hath done. You know, think of how many hymns we'd have to trash to join Chris LaSala's false cult out there he runs. You know, just scores of scripture we'd have to dump to join his false cult. I'm going to show you some scriptures, then I'm going to show you a clip he's, where he's preaching at his cult where he says that we don't believe salvation is easy and he's quoting new versions, you know, he's saying, well, the new versions say this, really, you're trusting the new versions that were created by the Vatican? It's crazy. Romans chapter 3, because he says that salvation is not easy, it's not, you know, it's hard, you know, it's hard to get saved, really. Romans chapter 3, verse 24 to 28, being justified freely by his grace through, through, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Verse 25, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. Verse 26, to declare, I say at this time, his righteousness, that he might be the, he might be the just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Verse 27, where is boasting then? Uh, is they excluded by, the, by what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Verse 28, therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Hmm. You want to go to scripture that debunk this cult leader out, out there who runs this false cult, you know, this charismaniac group that he runs? Romans 3, 24, 28, 28 debunks his false gospel, justified freely by his grace. Another good one is Romans chapter 4, verse 4 to 8. Now to him that worketh is the reward, not reckoned of grace, but of debt. Verse 5, But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Verse 6, Even as David also describeth the blessedness of the man unto whom God imputeth righteousness without works. Verse 7, saying, Blessed are they who, whose iniquities are if, sorry, blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Verse 8, Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord will not impute sin. You want a good verse to debunk this this uh, false prophet out there? Romans three, Romans four, verse four and eight. To him that worketh not, but believeth, his faith is counted for righteousness. Where is your works? Where does your holiness fit in there? It doesn't. Salvation is easy. And this scripture, I mean, Romans, this scripture after scripture after scripture. I was going to say, you know, Romans five fifteen talks about how salvation is a free gift. Ephesians two eight and nine talks about how you're saved by grace through faith. It's a gift from God. You know, Romans eleven six talks about if, if how it's if it's by works it's no more grace. Um, what was it Second uh, Timothy chapter one verse eight and nine talks about how salvation is not according to our works. Titus three five you no know, not by works of righteousness which we have done. Scripture after scripture debunk this false cult leader out there. But what he's doing is that he's he's trying to scare his followers. He's scaring them saying, oh you better you know don't speak against the holy man of God. You know you better work at your salvation with fear and trembling. He twists that passage. You want to lie? So you will follow him and you'll send him your money. That's what it comes down to. Every single cult leader wants to scare their followers into submitting to them so they'll send them their money. That's what it comes down to. So I'm going to play you a clip of Chris Lasala. Keep in mind all the scripture I just quoted to you proving that salvation that you're justified freely by his grace. You know, if you're justified by faith. Your faith is counted for righteousness. I'm going to play this clip and watch how he just is denying plain scripture and he's quoting new versions and stuff. Watch this. Well, you know, all you do is believe and like, I think it was more, you know, just to contradict what I was saying, but it, it frustrated me because we don't teach that at this church. We don't teach that it's easy for us to be saved. The Bible says we're scarcely saved. Other versions say with difficulty. Other versions say it's hard to be saved. And this is a fact. And this is for the believer. And, and then what happened is I went on the internet and I looked up what other people are saying about 
this situation, how the righteous are scarcely saved. And, and uh, sure enough, I found the cheap grace people and the easy believists all were doing teachings on this scripture to explain away this scripture so they could keep their pathetic, satanic joke of a doctrine that all you do is believe and say a prayer of salvation and that's it. They will do anything to write off this scripture and other scriptures that I'm going to be reading in this teaching. And these people are the most wicked people that exist on planet Earth today. And they believe we are the most wicked people that exist on planet Earth. That's what they really believe. They call us Lordship Salvationists. And they, well, their ministry is to attack anyone that teaches people that they need to make Jesus Lord and anyone that teaches people that they must repent to be saved. And this is because they don't understand what repentance is. Repentance is not perfection. Repentance is repenting of willful, presumptuous sins. You don't purposely do evil. You don't premeditate evil and carry it out and you heed conviction. You change your mind and you stop going the way you were going, and now you go in a new direction, and as you're going in that new direction, when you make mistakes, God's going to convict you, because if, if, you're, if you're a son and you're not a bastard, he's going to convict you. And this is what these people don't understand. They don't understand that if you truly are born again, you cannot continue in sin, like the Bible says, because his seed is in you and you cannot sin. And they don't understand that that seed is in the spirit and that's contrary to the flesh, right? And that we're warring against that all the time. Now, they are not warring against their flesh. If they sin in the flesh, that's okay according to their doctrine. And that's why they're trying to crush all these things that say we're scarcely saved because if we're scarcely saved, then they, they actually have to mind their flesh and repent of their sins. So they have to write these scriptures off to make it like they're not what they say they are. If you're still deceived by Crystal Sala and getting sucked into his cult he runs, I feel sorry for you. He's a dangerous false prophet. He's a charismatic, you know, believes in this, this demonic speaking in tongues. It's not biblical speaking in tongues. Every time there is speaking in tongues in the Bible, it was known languages. And when it was, when it was an unknown language, when it was an unknown language, sorry, there was an interpreter. It wasn't just blah, 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 blah. it wasn't that. It was a uh, interpreter. It was a known language. It wasn't just this, this blabbering like hoy, 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 you know, just this gibberish. It was no languages. And by the way, every time they were speaking in tongues in the book of Acts, there were always unbelieving Jews present. Present. Why? Because the Jews require a sign. God was giving the Jews another chance to accept Jesus Christ, so he gave the apostles the gift of tongues. And again, it was no languages, and because the Jews rejected Jesus a second time, the, the gift of tongues, the, the, the gifts of the Spirit, went away. There are no gifts of the Spirit anymore. They are coming back during the time of Jacob's trouble, but that's not for now. So don't, don't get sucked into Crystal Satan and his false cult that he runs out there. And yes, I do call him Crystal Satan because he's a minister of Satan. He's teaching a false gospel. And he's going to split hell wide open if he doesn't drop his self-righteousness self -righteousness, and turn to Jesus Christ alone for salvation. So anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.